Hey YouTube, this is Eva Tom on the trail. Welcome to my another Guan Aura Swipe Battle. This will be the last and final battle we will be having using my Halloween team. And the opponent, I will do a preview. She, I think it's, it's probably a she, uh, he's, she's bringing Then the Crew, Heracross, Whimsical Alakazam, Talon Flame, and Crocodile. Two potential magas, Alakazam, Heracross. Heracross can be a, yeah, a scaling her mega Heracross, la. probably Brave or Edelman Nature with like Pit Mister, Rock Blast, all the stuff like that. La. And Alakazam can be a mega also, offensive attacker, straight offensive, just. He's probably making Psychic or Psychic Maybe Shadow Ball, Focus Ball, Tensor and Gleam And all maybe backing Shield and Power, Fire for Seesaw, Ferraton Actually a normal Alakazam like works as well la. The most common one I see is Focus Sash Or maybe there's Life Up also Or even Choice Specs Alright Then the crew Probably Physical or Special War with like Speed, basically it's this rapid spinner uh, to get rid of hazards and it'll probably be backing process but some people are backing it Kukeda, probably choice scarf user or maybe defensive one with intimidate probably physically defensive la uh, or offensive scarf user talent flame probably life orb sharp bait sky blade or even choice blended musical always annoying one can be offensive, can be a defensive physically or specially. Brandster, very annoying. Anyway, now that I'm done with the team review, let's start. So, hope you guys enjoy and let's go. Really, after the Kukuda, I'm expecting it to be like probably defensive. Gonna, gonna straight away go for Stealth Rock or Choice Scarf. He went for Torn right away, okay, but like, okay. And since he goes for Torn, it's definitely not Choice Scarf. It's definitely defensive, judging by that. And he made a good move for going for Torn is a good move, lah. I could have gone for that, but I just went for U turn. He went for Rock Slide, I get Flinch. Alright. Now he switched. To then the crew, I could have go for off grid right here, but I just wanted to U turn and yeah, just to back off lah, get rid of the attack drop from intimidate. <coughs> now I miss my gears. I know I can take this quite well from then the crew lah. It's not offensive, it's defensive, and miss my gears have it decently good base special event, and I went for her. nasty blood. Because I don't think that it can hurt me that much. So I went for Nasty Lord and I'm at, now, my, now I'm at plus 2 special death. He went for Skull. Alright, did like nothing to me. I'm a, a plus 2 step Shadow Ball. Life Up boosted. Did a good chunk of damage. Went for Skull again. Now it, it will go over half already. And that's a crit. I should be in yellow zone. It can only knock me out or go to the, into the red zone because due to a crit right there. Now he switches into Kukuda. He's probably want to preserve that. Then the crew to probably drop this spin later. Now it goes to Kukuda. And I predicted that and go for Dazzling Gleam. I kind of knew that he's gonna try to preserve that Tender Crew. And I expect Kukuda to come in and go for Dazzling Gleam. That was a smart move on my part. So basically, Wester is defensive. Kukuda. Now Tender comes in. That's a problem. Always oh, Tender Flame. My team is very weak to Tender Flame. Now it's an English score. This time I have a lot of HP and you know, it's well obviously go for him going for Brave Bird. Definitely going for Brave Bird. Did uh oh good chunk but not good enough. It did about 50 or nearly 50% only. Now you go for that. Yeah, some more recovery basically. You have a ton. I was like, what the hell? Okay, I didn't expect ton right there. I like switch. Expecting. Yeah, I'm gonna sack off my Miss Magus right here. La. There's no point already. She went for Torn. Did not expect that, but doesn't really matter la, because my Discord only that can move out of quick and you just can do nothing about it. So I need to switch out. La. Uh, 
and I see no life form. This thing, and it is also used, it went used on earlier. That means this thing is definitely not Crossman. Probably Skyblade or Skyblade or Shark Bait, and I went for Protect Heat Horn again. Wow, really want to prevent me from using Protect though. Now I went for Thorn. I believe I went for U-turn. Yup, U-turn. U-turn is 4 time resistance, gonna do nothing. Judging for the damage, that tank flame is an odd one though. Hmm. Actually, at the moment, I was wondering if it's possible that this tank flame is the bulk up Brave Bird one. But I purposely set it with and then switch back to to Glitch Scout. I really want to. F I'm just forcing him to keep using Brave Bird. I just wanted them to get recoil. At that point, I did not expect him to be using Packing Blues. And now he will go for Flame Charge. I was like, what? That was something new. I could have knocked off there, but I really expect a Brave Bird right there. Now I go for Protect. And he went for Rules. As always, if I went for Earthquake, it's probably going to take a butt down there, or it could probably go down. So yeah, this thing is definitely not locked into an attack, definitely not choice. Now it torn me again. Uh, yup, you done again, the same thing. Just, it's just that this talent just gave me a problem. I believe at this point I send in my Gengar because it's not choice band. Yup, and I know I can do a bit for as long as it doesn't get a crit. Then you guys will want to see what will hap what happened here. See, I don't know what he's thinking. He went for Torn, I went for a Shadow Ball. He's probably expecting Destiny Born or even he's probably just predicting the same one from what I guess. So I went for Shadow Ball and I get a crit. Yep, the crit may not matter, but oh well, that's a huge threat goes down. He's probably predicting Destiny Bond. There is no way he's predicting Protect or what. Now, here comes the crew for Shadow Ball, and it barely survives. That's how bulky the crew is and went for Skull. Thankfully, never did over half. And yep, and hopefully, and definitely never got wet, and, and then finish it off with a Shadow Ball. Then the cruise goes down to get a crit, which it doesn't matter because it's already on low health. <coughs> now Torn roll off, which it doesn't matter. Now Heracross come in. I was so scared of that thing being a choice scarf user and probably go for Earthquake. So I'm sending Glisco. And here for knock off. Okay, it doesn't matter though. At this point, it doesn't matter because I'm already poisoned. So I don't mind Heracross going for knock off. And earlier, he probably expected me to. Think that he's trust up and he went for knock off predicting a switch like that. He did a good move right there. Now that Alakas and Gavin, you guys just see what I, what I use right now. U turn. And I see no focus sash. It's a crit. He's probably life for all choice pets. Wow. That was a waste. Alakazam. Very wasted already. Now I'm sending my choice scout any law. Alright, now it's turned back in Heracross and it turns out that it's the Mega. <coughs> well, I've never seen a Mega Heracross but game now off with it, so basically this is a new one. Eh? So I went for the overheat and it connects and Mega Heracross goes down easily. Whimsicott. It's probably the last Pokemon of the He went for Swagger. Obviously the ability Brandster. Give priority to all status move. One for Swagger. Want to confuse me to death but it doesn't work for him. I go to confusion. One for over it connects and minus four but it's that and it still did like I really thought it is focus as so the minus two doesn't really doesn't matter. Maybe the thing is bone nature and not Especially defensive. Now I get rid I, I step out of the and over he corners again. Minus 4, doesn't matter. It's a like 1 HP is going down. And down goes with Musical, and that's it for the battle. And that is all for my Halloween team. 
So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I really enjoy using this team. This team working quite well, except that it's very weak to ten and play. But sometimes I go through, I gone through. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give a thumbs up, like if you enjoy, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Evil Tower One Three Something Out.